Strange happenings afoot this weekend at our nation's capital, the primary airport, Washington Reagan National. Multiple collision traffic avoidance calls for multiple aircraft. Let's take a look, I'll analyze. Freak out 4469, we're recovering. Freak out 4469, would you like to go around? Negative, we got it. Okay, Jet Blue 1155, turn right taxiway, Fox Trot, ground point seven, have a good day. Fox Trot, ground point seven, 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 Fox uh, report either a TA or an RA. That's the TCAS, the Traffic Collision Avoidance System that all commercial airliners have. It uses an internal system called ADSB, and ADSB transmits everywhere, but it transmits primarily to other aircraft, and it transmits back your speed, your altitude, your direction of flight, and then it compares those things through the TCAS system to give you traffic advisories, TAs, or resolution advisories, that's an upgrade from a TA. A TA is simply when the computer says there's traffic out there, it's getting a little close, and it, the computer voice says, traffic, traffic, and it'll pop up on your screen. You take a look out and see where that traffic is. If you don't see anything, you're good, but it's a heads up, literally. An RA is when it gives you uh, what to do next, a climb or a descent. And it'll say, climb, climb now. And then a little green band will show up on your screen and you fly the airplane up into that little green band. Some of these airplanes got TAs, some of them got TAs and RAs, multiple airliners along that final approach route on a southerly flow into DCA airport. I'll give you my speculation in a minute on what I think was causing it. Freak at 45.38, preceding arrival uh, reported a TA. Top two more miles at 1,200 feet. Um, it's been happening all morning. Uh, let me know if you see anything. No one else has seen anything except for on the uh, TCAS. Okay, so nobody's seen anything. The tower doesn't see anything. If it was an ADSB aircraft that was transmitting, they would have it on their screen as well. So they're not seeing any traffic out there. And the other thing that they can see is what's called a primary target. A primary target is an airplane that, for instance, doesn't have ADSB, a little Piper Cub or a Cessna or some a little home-built airplane or something, it's a possibility. Um, they would see it, it would return, just the radar return would come back without the ADSB information. They would see that, they don't see anything. And by the way, all these aircraft that are their heads up now and looking, they don't see anything either, but they all get a similar warning. This gets a little strange, watch. All right, we'll check it out, we'll let you know. Appreciate 4538, runway 19 or clear to land, traffic will hold. Okay, I want you to listen to this guy's voice for a minute. He's going to talk in a minute, and I'm going to make a comment. Freakjet 4528, runway 19, line up and wait. Runway 19, line up and wait. Okay, this is a normal flow out of an airport, taking Alaska off. Alaska 5, morning. you'll be next. Good morning. You'll be next, Alaska. Okay. Normal operations. Freakjet 4469, turn right, taxiway, Foxtrot, ground point 7, have a good one. Right on Foxtrot, ground point 7, Freakjet 4469. Clearing somebody off the runway. We have to dive into the river. Here it comes again. Roger, ground point seven, and uh, if you could repeat it to her so that the uh, suit can write it down. Okay. Yeah, we got uh, a little something there. We got 4538, it appeared to be a uh, target that was 600 feet above us. Okay, I gotta stop for a second. Does this guy sound like he had to put his bongos down before he could key up the mic and talk? I just, yeah, all right, sorry. Bridget 452819, clear for takeoff. 4538, you said how high above you? It said uh, on the TCAS it was uh, 600 feet above us, and we didn't see anything. Okay, <laughs> I bet they didn't see anything. All right, at any rate, um, yeah. So multiple airplanes now are going to say the same thing. 600 feet above us, 200 feet above us. It was descending quickly. Uh, could this have been an alien? I don't know. There's going to be a couple of choice comments here in a minute. Listen up. 600 feet above, did not see anything visually. Thank you. Okay. Didn't see anything. Blue Street 5197, Washington Tower, runway 19 or clear to land. 19, clear to land, Blue Street 5197. Blue Street 5197, multiple arrivals are reporting uh, TAs. Um, 
Not seeing anything out of the windows, though, but on the T-cast, uh, about two more miles, and I don't have the exact altitude. So they don't see anything. They On the screen, airplanes aren't reporting anything. She's got to report it. They're doing a great job in the tower letting everybody know that there's some sort of either an erroneous warning or heads up there may be somebody out there we'll flying. Keep an eye out. Yeah, we got a T-cast, uh, but we don't see anything either. We're shooting line, so. Do you remember where it was? Yeah, a little bit before Derek, no altitude on a blue streak going seven. Okay, Derek is an intersection, and there's several points. There's one called Gray's, another one called Derek, uh, along the, the path into the runway. And they all got the same kind of warning-ish somewhere along that final approach route, but it wasn't at the same exact spot, which really makes this a strange mystery. Like, what was causing this? Roger, thank you. And you are clear to land on my 19, blue streak 5197. Blue streak Ground break air 4469 vacating on Fox shot for Charlie 27. We got an RA for you to copy whenever you want. Break air 4469, Roger. Juliet to gate 27. Juliet 27, break air 4469. Okay, he says we have an RA for you to copy. Now, here's the here's how it goes. If you get a TA or an RA while you're in flight, that overrides any instruction that you've been given by uh, any sort of controller. So that's telling you there's an aircraft out there and you need to follow these instructions. So if I got a TA warning, it would say traffic, traffic, I would look, right? If I saw the airplane, I would try to avoid it. Uh, if I get an RA, which says climb or descend, it's mandatory. I must follow those instructions. I'm going to turn off my autopilot, turn off my auto throttles, and I'm going to hand fly the airplane to that altitude up or down. And then at the same time, my co-pilot is going to get on the radio and say, we are deviating for an RA. That's all they have to say. That explains to the controller that has you exactly what's going on and uh, so they don't violate you for not following their commands when it's all done and the, the resolution has been resolved the air you're clear of the traffic then you descend or climb back to the altitude that you were originally at and of course you report that to the, the tower or the controller and say we had to deviate for an RA that's exactly what these guys are doing they want to report the details of it Brickyard 4469, go ahead with the uh, the information that you have. This has been a common uh, current all morning. morning, he says. Hey, Brickyard 4469, just about over Fond B 1200 feet. We got a uh, descending RA. We got out of it about 1100,000 feet. Hmm. And did you actually visibly see anything other than what the TCAS was showing? Negative. It was just a uh, unknown target descending rapidly. Right, that's anything. the same uh, sort of reports we've been getting. Uh, it just seemed like it had stopped. So it sounds like it's starting again. All right. So uh, it was approximately 1,200 feet. You went down to about 1,000. And what was the fix you were over when you said it? I didn't catch it. We are just over top of the Fondi intersection on the RNAV Zulu. Fondi for the RNAV Zulu. Thank you. Alien. Okay. Maybe. Russia. Okay, now pilots have a sense of humor. These guys shouldn't say this, but somebody keys up the mic and says aliens. Another guy says Russia, you know. All right, the, you know, sometimes you gotta let off a little bit of steam and have fun. Not that I've ever done that. Captain Steve is, plays it right by the book all the time. Yeah, we had an RA over uh, Gray's. Okay, another one over Gray's. We got the Roger. We're gonna get more information once you land. Okay. Oh. Lots of these. Blue Street 5146, Rift for Viz 19. Blue Street 5146, Washington Tower, welcome aboard, runway 19er. Clear to land, reduce to final now. Watch what the tower one does. Nine, clear to land, reduce to final, Blue Street 5146. You're going to tell everybody. You're going to give a report of what's going on to everybody. Blue Street 5146, reporting traffic around our 11 o'clock. we got anything out here? Okay, they got a TA. That's why they're reporting traffic, right? They don't see anything, but they're asking the tower, do you see anything? So there, she, he's saying we got a TA, 11 o'clock, we don't see anything verified. Negative, Blue Street 5146, no known traffic between you and the facility, still clear to land 19. Okay. Clear to land 19, really Blue Street 5146. Break there, 5802, turn right Foxtrot, right Juliet, and uh, stay with me. Um, what did you experience on final? I've never seen anything. Like Fox Juliet, stay with you. We're at a gray, maybe uh, 1200 feet, 1100. Uh, we got an RA for the set. The 200 above, we saw a it out there, though. Two airplanes talking over top of each other. American 523 Washington. 523, go ahead. American 523, runway 19, clear to land, chest holds in the park. Clear to land, runway 19, American 523. 
Right, five, so if you're not sure if you've heard, but multiple rivals reporting TCAS uh, RAs or TAs on final. No known targets between you and the field. America 523. Okay, good, clear, crisp communication from the tower. Excellent. Three, three, 5146, toggle right, down right. to Alpha, Juliet, cross from way 22, ground point 7. Alpha, Juliet, clear across from way and we're kind of talking over the frequency. Then we see 5197, and we're able to see the information about the PKSRA. Yeah, so we got two. First one was uh, before Slacker. It wasn't an RA. Uh, first one was before Slacker. Second one was maybe near. Oh, it was near Derek. Blue 5197. It was not an RA. Okay, two TAs. Sure, thank you. Okay, thank you, she said. Washington Tower, Blue Street, 5098, Tower River, Visual 19. Blue Street, 5098, Washington Tower, reduce the final approach speed, traffic will hold in the park. Use caution, TAs and RAs reported on final. No known traffic between you and the field, runway 19, clear to land. This is so unusual. thanks for the heads up, and we'll slow the approach speed now. Yeah, just bizarre, this whole thing. Washington Tower, envoy 3630, River, Visual 19. Envoy 3630, Washington Tower, runway 19, clear to land, traffic will hold in the park fire. Okay. Alright, clear to land, 1-9, Envoy 3630. Envoy 3630, there's no known traffic between you and the field. We've it's had multiple arrivals over. today, report TAs and RAs for unknown okay. targets. Use right. caution. Roger that, thanks. Envoy 3630. Right, you're giving a heads up to everybody. You know. Tower South 704, RQ 19. South 704, Washington Tower, use caution. Multiple reports today yes. on final of yes. TAs and RAs for unknown targets. There's no known traffic between you and the field. Traffic's going to hold in the park prior to Ronald, runway 19 or for the lane. All right, copy all clear to land, runway 19, south of 704. Hmm. This is uh, so good. Okay, 5098, we did get that. Uh, we got two TAs on arrival, they said. And so you said you got two TAs, uh, Blue Street 5098? Yep. Uh, yes, ma'am, we got two TAs. One uh, about uh, short final um, for runway, and then the other one was probably about three miles back. Thank you. And here we are at the end of all of this. So what happened going into DCA this weekend? Uh, there was one of four possible explanations. One is some small aircraft was flying around uh, and causing all of these uh, disturbances, all of these TA and RA warnings. Very unlikely that it was because the tower would have seen it on their uh, radar screen. Even if it didn't have the ADSB system that transmits, they still would have gotten a primary return because there's a hunk of metal flying around out there in the air. That's number one. So it's probably not that. Number two, <clears throat> it could have been a flock of birds, right? You could get a primary return from a flock of birds. They're not transmitting ADSB, but the ADSB system would see it. It might cause an erroneous uh, indication to numerous aircraft. The problem with that is it happens at different places along the approach on the way in, and it's just not likely that that a flock of birds would cause that sort of issue. So I don't think that was it. The third possibility is that it was some sort of ground signal that was being sent up and it was somehow either scrambling or interfering with the ADSB signals from multiple aircraft and at different places along the route, uh, different airplanes were having a different reaction, all thinking that somebody was descending upon them and they were, a couple of them got a descending breakout you know, only a couple hundred feet and then it was resolved. They, nobody ever saw anything. It's, it's again, it's a, it's a long shot, but it could have been that. And the other, it could have been a drone. Now, I'm not talking about like a military drone. I'm talking about like a civilian drone. Somebody's just flying their little drone around. Again, a drone doesn't have ADSB. It doesn't, but it, it's not a very big, you know, if a drone's this big, it, it's hard to pick up on the radar. It's really difficult to see. You can look out and if it's not directly in front of you, just at a few feet, you're probably not gonna see a drone. That would explain why nobody saw anything. But again, the descending breakouts and all that, it probably wouldn't happen uh, with a drone either. This is a huge mystery, my friends. Could it have been aliens? Could it have been the Russians? I don't know. Anything's a possibility. Captain Steve gave you four possibilities. There may be even more. Time to cue the Twilight Zone music. Now you know, I'm Captain Steve. Fly safe.